total differentials. Now, supposedly, if you have y equals to f of, which depends on x1 through xn, x1, x2, to xn. Now, changes in y are function of change in any of these xi variables. So, in case of y is going to change, y can change because probably x1 changes, x2 changes, or all of them changes. Okay, so change in y function of any of xi variables and this partial derivative that is del y i del y by del x i not del y i by del x i you can just write it again del y by del x i describing that change okay that that per unit impact of these changes on y this partial derivative could even be written as fi. So total differential of function, that is dy, dy is the total differential of the function. It can be written as f1 dx1. You, you remember this, that dy by dx is equal to f dash x. Then we have written dy equals to f dash x equals into dx. This is the total differential in y. Here in this case, when you have several partial derivatives, you don't write f dash x, you write f1, okay, and this is dx1, fine. Plus, there would be some other factor also, which is, say, x2, and the change in y due to the change in x2 is del f by del x2 into dx2 and so on. So the sum of all of these changes is dy. So let me write it here. So dy is f1 dx1 plus f2 dx2 and so on to fn dxn. Okay. So changes in y, it could be found out by multiplying these fi's by actual changes in xi. Okay. That is, uh, now supposedly if z is equal to say 4x square plus 5x plus 6xy plus y square. Now suppose if this is there. Now as you could see, z is a function of how many variables? Two variables, x and y. So change in z could be found out by finding out f1 or in place of f1, let me write fx dx plus fy dy. How would you write fx? You can write fx as del z by del x into dx. How would you write fy? Del z by del y into dy. Okay. And the sum of these changes is given by dz. So what is del z by del x? Okay. What is del z by del x? In this case, del z by del x is, that is only x is variable and all other are constant. So it is 8x plus 5 plus 6y. And what is del z by del y? That would be 6x plus 2y. So we'll just substitute both of them here. You will have 8x plus 6y plus 5 into dx plus 6x plus 2y into dy. This is equal to dz. This is equal to dz. Okay, so this is the way you find out total derivative. Okay, let me give you one more example. Supposedly, you have the case that y 
which is a function of say x and what say r and there is another function now x is also dependent upon g which is again the function of r fine so how how is y going to be affected now y could be affected in case if there is a change in this function or y could also be affected in case if there is a change in this function so in case if f changes that is a direct effect on y directly y is going to change and in case if this function is going to change this would be an indirect indirect effect on y okay so in case if you want to find out the the change in y that is del f by del r then this is going to change this is going to show only the indirect effect okay you will you would need total derivative in order to express both direct effect and the indirect effect so dy you have already seen this this is the function of x and r so how do you write this fx dx plus fr dr now you need to find out the changes in y due to changes in r so how do you do that dy by dr dx by dr dr by dr so it means that what you need to find out is this is what del y by del x into dx by dr plus del y by del r so this will give you the change in this will give you the change in y with respect to r okay so this is also the way you'll find out the total derivative or total differentiation now i'll give you some other examples also of total differentiation in in later recordings